Welcome guys to another one of my videos. Today I will be printing a filament uh, colorizer. So what it is, is you have a spot for four sharpies that go on one, two, three, four, and a spot for the filament, which is the, the pretty much line of the plastic to go through, and it colors it. So I'll be using these sharpies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out this 3D model that is designed for that, and then I'm going to um, pretty much print it again, except that time coloring it to test out how the colors work. Now I've been trying to color filaments for a bit, and I found out that washable markers don't work. They they kind of clog up and they don't like dry on the filament, so it gets on your hands and everything. But with permanent marker, it doesn't do that as much. I recently got some markers from the dollar store, and one way I've heard of uh, coloring filament is you drill a hole in the bottom and then pull the top of the, the marker off and then feed the filament through it and then as you pull the marker down the, the filament is colored but I did that with a brown sharpie that I uh, with the set that I got from the dollar store and what ended up coming out of the print was like a neon green not brown and it disintegrated the the plastic that it was on the sharpie with the filament through it, all the filament that was inside the sharpie at that moment, for a little while, disintegrated and it melted off both ends of the sharpie. So now, I don't know, I don't know why I did that and it didn't work. So I'm trying it this way. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll start the print. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll let you guys know when the print is done. Okay, guys, it's currently 41% of the way done. And it's finally done. That print took about an hour and 46 minutes. So I'm going to take it off and see how it looks. There it is. I printed it in glow-in-the-dark PLA filament. So, cool. I'll clean it up a little bit and show you. So I found a little bit of a problem. If you can see in the middle where the filament is supposed to go through, like right there, it's got a tiny hole that my filament will not go through. So I've got a drill and I'm going to drill it out a little bit and see if how that goes. Okay, so I got it drilled out and the hole is a little bit bigger. And so I'm actually going to see if it, the Sharpies fit in it, or the off-brand Sharpies. Um, well, so I'll just put them, I'll put four of them in each hole, and then the filament will go through that hole that I just drilled out, and the Sharpie ends will color the filament. So I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to use glow in the dark because it's uh, a lighter color and it's most kind of see-through, so I'll just use that rather than using the white ABS, which takes a really long time for the plate bed to heat up, the build, the build plate to heat up. Um, so I guess I'll just take it out and try it. See, I got, I got the print ready again. So once I've got the color hooked up, I'll just um, start it again. Okay, so I put in the four colors. I'm using uh, yellow, red, orange, and purple. And I just realized something. I didn't color the whole part of it. So the first part of the print will be regular glow on the white, and we'll use that to compare the rest of it and see how strongly it colors it. So as it pulls the filament through, off the spool, through here, it colors it as it goes through that. Oh no, that's not good. Okay guys, we're back on. Wow, I ended up dropping a Sharpie behind the desk, and okay, so what happened was the holder, the sharpie holder did not hold the sharpies very well so what I had to do is get a rubber band and wrap it around all of the sharpies to hold them together and so it's printing now and I colored the whole, all the filament up to the end most, all, all the up to the end, most of the way to the end and so it's printing it right now and I'm gonna see how it works because if you guys can look at right there 
the filament is not uh, clear anymore. It's more of a, I mean, it's clear, but it's a red clear rather than like the, the glow in the dark color. So hopefully I'll get it to be a full glow in the dark, kind of like a reddish color. I don't know. I'll check in with you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys. This was a bit of a fail. So I want you guys to look at this. So what was going into the printer was a, uh, a bit of a reddish purple sharpie color and what came out was a light blue green so the only thing I can think of is don't ever buy dollar store permanent markers for coloring filament it says right on the package for everyday use so I guess that also means don't try to use it for printers okay so if you guys ever want to try this make sure you're using permanent marker and it should work out. I'll probably do another video pretty soon of actually doing permanent marker. That's Sharpie brand rather than the cheap stuff. But yeah, I don't know what to say. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed watching how dollar store markers don't work, give this video a like. Um, be sure to leave a comment maybe why it wasn't working or any guesses that you guys have. Um, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing a lot more 3D printing videos if you guys are interested in that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.